So right now I'm in the uh, Hobart Book Village. It's a village made up entirely of bookstores and just, I don't know, it's such a quaint little town. I don't know how to read though, so I don't know why I'm here. What's going on, everybody? And yes, I did go to the Hobart Book Village this past weekend. Um, it was a ton of fun, a huge blast, and um, I uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. And um, I was not expecting to find any manga, and I didn't find much. Um, but I still thought it was fun to highlight because um, it was pretty unexpected to find anything. Um, and I did find two. Um, so it's not really much of a haul, but I just wanted to talk about it and talk about a little bit of my experiences at the Hobart Book Village because it was a lot of fun and it was a pretty cool, unique experience. Um, so first, <laughs> uh, I ha I know nothing about this manga. Um, it looks like a one-shot, like a one-off, um, but it's uh, <laughs> uh, Yagi the Bookshop Goat. Um... I thought, I, I know nothing about it. I saw the Tokyo Pop logo from a distance, and I was like, that's a manga. And I, I like, I zoned in on it, um, like, like Predator, you know, when he goes night vision, and he's able to, like, see people's heat signatures. But I found it, and, um, it, it was, I, I it was kind of funny because, um, you know, again, I know nothing about it, but I was like, oh, this is the books, book store village. It's a manga about a bookshop, um, or at least it features a bookshop. And I thought, you know what, we'll pick it up for the, uh, for the, you know, the correlation, the experience. Um, the funny thing about it, though, is, <laughs> um, you know, the fact that some of these places had manga was was pretty crazy to begin with um but it's still a you know small blue collar town in the cat skills of new york you know so manga isn't going to be on the forefront on the radar so i'm sure that somebody saw this and was like oh it's you know cartoons or oh whatever so we'll put it in the uh in the children's section i found this in the children's section and um <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows anything about Yagi the Bookshop Goat, but it is an 18 plus boys love manga. <laughs> I flipped through this. I didn't read it yet. I'm going to read it and maybe I'll review it if it's, you know, worth reviewing. But I did flip through it a little bit and there is a sex scene in here. So probably not uh, in the children's section <laughs> due to... Um, due to the uh, nudity and explicit sex sexual content that's featured on the back, but you know what? <laughs> it still was funny, you know, just like, oh, it's cartoons. You know, it's, that's fine. That's, that is, that's what it is. Um, so I definitely, uh, I definitely thought that this was just kind of a fun find and, you know, we'll see it. We'll see how it is. I don't know, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, I, and, and I don't know, I got nothing else to say, because again, I haven't read it, I just thought the circumstances behind finding it were really funny, um, at least in my opinion. Um, so there's that one. And then the other manga I found was a manga that I made a joke about a while back in, I think, a previous manga haul video, and that is the manga Bible. I made a joke about there being a Bible, or a manga version of the Bible, thinking like, oh, this doesn't exist, and it does, and this is volume three, <laughs> so that means there's more. <laughs> I just thought that was really funny, um, and I want to read it, like, I, I'm, 
I, I don't know, like, what really goes into this. You know, I'm not super religious, but I just think the idea of taking stories from the Bible and mangafying them is not only funny in an, in an ironic way, but it also is kind of a smart idea to help reach, um, like, different audiences, you know. If you really want to, you know, for example, when I was a kid growing up, I had to do, like, Catholicism, like, I, w I was Catholic, and I had to do, like, write-ups, and, you know, for my communion, I had to do, like, research and all this other stuff, um, and it was boring, honestly, uh, <laughs> I was not a fan of it, and I'm not here to talk about religion, you know, because, you know, a lot of people think, dif you know, have different views on that, totally, I, I, I got no issue with, with whatever you believe in, um, but I'm just saying from my own personal experience, if someone had handed me this manga and was like, hey, read this and learn all about the Bible, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah, bro, maybe the Bible's kind of cool, like, <laughs> you know, like, oh, the Bible's, the Bible's actually pretty lit, I'm not gonna lie, like, <laughs> you know, so just the idea of, of, of that being just such a weird, different thing is, is just really fun to me. And, um, yeah, and it makes me want to, uh, find the other, find the other, uh, volumes of this and, um, and keep, uh, learning more about Jeebus, you know? <laughs> so, those were the two manga I found. So another book I picked up that's kind of sort of relevant, uh, is, um, a book, Japanese for Busy People. And, <laughs> uh, I'm a busy person. I got a lot going on between work, between you know, stand up between making videos, between, you know, being depressed and anxious. That takes up a lot of my time, honestly. So I'm a very busy dude and I have wanted to learn Japanese. I do still want to go to Japan. Um, I had planned on going, um, I think sometime like, like this time next year, but that probably will get pushed back due to a bunch of issues I got going on, namely, um, uh, finances and the whole border situation, but irregardless, I feel like knowing some Japanese will be a good first step in, in helping in that, um, process and helping, you know, that trip go over more smoothly, but the reason that I brought up this in particular was, one, you know, Japan manga, I feel like it kind of fits with the theme, but also it leads me into the next part of this, um, video where I wanted to talk a little bit more about the book village itself. Uh, first of all, the prices of all these books, a lot of them are used books. Um, it felt like I spent a lot, um, during my day because like I was constantly getting out my card, you know, at different bookstores, but really the most expensive book was probably Yagi and it was a, you know, regular $12 manga. Um, and it's, and it was that much because it's, you know, pretty new. Um, Everything else was used, like old library copies, which I love. Again, I've talked about how I like used books um, better than new books, honestly. Um, and like, for example, this uh, this book, um, Japanese... Now, it was printed in the 80s, but I feel like language, you know, it's not going to be out of print. It's not like... Or it's not going to be like... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, irrelevant or whatever. Because um, I don't feel like language changes too much. Um, there's no like software update with language. Like if this was like a tech book from the 80s, yeah, it would be a little obsolete nowadays. But, um, you know, unless, you know, honey, wake up, new uh, vocab just dropped. <laughs> Which I don't know, maybe it did. But um, but the fact is, is it was six bucks. Um, and then the bookstore I was at, they were like, yeah, we take 20% off just because. Like, not not even for a specific reason. They're like, yeah, it's printed on the inside, um, but we take 20%. So this book was like $4 and something cents. Um, and it was just so pleasant. Like, the like their whole main street in Hobart it had like 10 bookstores on it. And in one of the bookstores, you know, I was, I was doing my manga hunting. And in the bookstore where I found this, they had like volumes 40-something to 50-something of Naruto. Um, which I like Naruto, but I don't collect the Naruto manga and, um, they had a bunch of Inuyasha manga as well, which I thought about maybe getting into cause Inuyasha is very popular and, you know, I thought maybe I could see myself getting into this, but they didn't have volume one. They had like two, four, 17, 20, you know, stuff like that. Um, 
so it's you know at least from this first experience i already want to go back um and i'm already planning on going back and in the future um i may might make a more in-depth video on it um maybe in the realm of an actual like travel type vlog or video so um you know that's something i want to do in the future and maybe explore a little bit more of the town proper because where i was was just the book village portion of the town which is just their main street but as i was driving um home uh, i went through um like the surrounding village and i was like this is really cool <laughs> and you know just exploring this small little cute town i think um would be a lot of fun as well uh so um but anyway back to what i was talking about so the actual book village itself there was like 10 stores um you know ranging they, they all have different things so one store had some stuff related to new york state um you know a bunch of old history stuff we found um like first editions of novels like novels from like like books from like the 1800s um one store was literally just a house that they just made into a bookstore it was literally three floors of books in just this old house and um some were more traditional bookstores and you know you'd see you'll see you know or you saw in the clips in the beginning some of these bookstores just had books just on shelves all over the place and um it was a lot of fun. I didn't want to, like, intrude on anyone's privacy, and I didn't want to, like, be a traditional, like, YouTube vlogger being like, what's up, guys? We're here in the Hobart Book Village. Like, that's not really my thing, so I didn't film a whole lot, but I think when I go back, I'll I'll try to film a little bit more just so you guys can, like, really see what this place is about, because it was legitimately incredible, and again, I'm not a big book person. I read manga and the occasional comic book. That's that's my extent of, of uh, book learning. Um but I still had a wonderful time. So, um, just the history, the, the vibe, it was such a cute, pleasant experience. And, um, you know, so, so especially, you know, this being a, you know, manga channel, um, or at least part of this channel is a big manga channel. So I feel like if you stumble across this video, you might like books <laughs> as well. So I definitely recommend checking out Hobart Book Village in Hobart, New York. Um, you know, the, the, we went there and it's starting to become fall here. So the leaves were all changing, very hilly because, again, it's in the Catskills. It was just a pleasant, sweet drive. And it was just a great place to go. And it kind of leads me into my final point. And, um, you know, I, I know that this video was just talking about the village a little bit, you know, showing some of the books that I got. I also got a Far Side collection by Gary Larson. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Far Side collection of cartoons. Like, um, you know, and they're they're really good. But anyway, um, I personally um, have been going through a bit of a rough patch. Um, I uh, just like having a lot of like, you know, extra. I I feel like depressed and anxious almost daily. But like lately, it's been like a little bit heavier. Um, and I think this was a really good trip for me. And, and, um, this is a fun place to go regardless of, of if you're depressed or not, you know, <laughs> I would recommend it. But I think, um, something that I've slowly been realizing for myself is I need to start doing things and getting outside more and exp experiencing life and experiencing the world. And the fact of the matter is, is I only learned about this place maybe a year ago and I just now managed to get there even though it's really not that far from well it is kind of far but um but that's I mean that's around it's in my state and I didn't know about it and a lot of people don't know about it like I told people like hey I'm going to this thing and they were like oh Hobart I've never heard of that before that's really cool um so you know I'm not I'm sure everybody who who stumbles across this video not everyone's gonna live in New York or live in the Catskills region um, but just like do do a little research see what's around you you know you, there's a lot of stuff that you may never have heard of that might be in your state or in your surrounding area that you can even just make a little day trip out of um, and it really helps like at least for me getting out into the world and seeing cool things and like for example when 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 we were driving there we stopped um to to get a water at this little dollar general that was like on 
the edge of this like you looked out from the parking lot of this dollar general and you just got to see the mountains and the cool colors and everything and the dollar general itself was the front of the building was modeled like it was a barn like a little barn it was so cute and i should have like taken a photo of it but i just didn't think about it but um it was such a cool and unique site and it's a dollar general like it's not anything crazy but it's just you'll never know these kind of quirky fun little things that you might see um when you just get out and explore your environment and i know you know when you might be you know at least for me when i'm feeling bad um obviously that's easier said than done but you know just just finding that you know little little push um to get out and get going um it really helps out and i this trip really helped me out a lot and it you know was a great palate cleanser of like okay i'm gonna get away from all the bullshit for a weekend and i'm gonna go explore this place that i've never been and have fun doing it and um it was a great mental cleanser and um it was just peaceful it was a nice peaceful experience so i mean i definitely recommend the the hobart book village i think it's very cute very quaint a lot of fun um and who knows you might find some <laughs> some manga there again um you know it, it obviously that's not their forefront but i did find some 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 manga i found a few and who knows next time i go you know manga and anime stuff is only getting more and more popular who knows there might even be more next time um but you'll find anything any book you're looking for like i found sports stuff i'm a huge sports guy go bills even though we just lost but i'm not mad i'm furious <laughs> but anyway um but like you'll find that you'll find they had a whole store that was just crafting books like uh, cooking books crap like stuff that you can make and like so you'll find anything there um but again i i know this little town in in new york isn't accessible to everybody so that's why i recommend you know just doing some research looking up you know fun attractions around me or, or go to like a museum or a um or like maybe a place near you has a cool little bookstore or a you know just something that that you might not think of doing or even just like getting out and seeing nature is cool um you know whatever you're interested in i guess i'm you know i, I don't mean to you know say oh you have to do this you know because that's obviously not gonna help um but i think it really helps it's a cleanser and it really can help mentally like mental a mental like checkup on yourself to be like there's beauty in the world and you know, maybe I don't want to die, you know, I mean, I, you know, I don't know, maybe a little bit, but I don't want to die as much as I did before, if that makes, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, this video kind of had, oh, it was like, it started out as kind of a weird little vlog, and then like a sort of manga haul, and then talking about the book village, and now a mental health talk, but if you guys are, you know, I've been around the channel for a minute. You know that I kind of am all over the place with, with a lot of my videos. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Hobart Book Village. It was a great weekend. I enjoyed it a lot. And I did find manga. I said I was going to. And I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, and maybe took something out of it. Um, if, if any of you guys ever need to talk, feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to hit me up. Um, and yeah, just get out there, experience life, experience the world. I know the world's crazy and a lot of times it sucks ass, but there are little things in the world that can make it better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.